startled by the absolute depths of depravity which religious people will happily sink to in pursuit of their agenda and uh, one example of this is the way that they will disguise their religious beliefs as science and then try to pass it off and so I found this um, this short uh, article very interesting and I hope you do too this is by Amanda Gefter as a book reviews editor at New Scientist magazine, I often come across so-called science books which, after a few pages, reveal themselves to be harboring ulterior motives. I have learned to recognize clues that the author is pushing a religious agenda. As creationists in the U.S. continue to lose court battles over attempts to have intelligent design taught as science in federally funded schools, their strategy has been forced to, well, evolve. That means ensuring that references to pseudoscientific concepts like ID are more heavily veiled. So I thought I'd share a few tips for spotting what may be religion in science's clothing. And I, you know, I, I think this is useful not just to other science uh, book review editors, but just people in the general public like, you know, us. Right. Anytime you pick up a book, this, these are handy hints uh, that would help you tell whether you're reading actual science or, I, or a cheap imitation. I've noticed that even I sometimes fail to keep up with the lingo. I recently posted something that said, you know, creationism or their new moniker, intelligent design, or their new, new moniker, teach the strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. And then somebody corrected me, no, you're already behind the times. Now it it's new, new, academic new? freedom. Yes, that's true. Red flag number one, the term scientific materialism. Materialism is most often used uh, in these uh, books and articles in contrast to something else, something non-material or supernatural. Proponents of ID frequently lament the scientific claim that humans are the product of purely material forces. At the same time, they never define how non-material forces might work. I have yet to find a definition that characterizes non-materialism in terms of what it is rather than what it is not. They're gun-shy now about defining it because they used to do that. Did they? How did they and define they, it? What well, did they, define they it used as? to say God. Oh, right. And, and then they got smacked down in the 60s. And then they'd have all the baggage of religion to explain those details. Right. Now, since they can't say God, they don't have any details. Right. Interesting. The invocation of Cartesian dualism, where the brain and mind are viewed as two distinct entities, one material and the other immaterial, is also a red flag. If an author describes the mind, or any biological system for that matter, as irreducibly complex, let the alarm bells ring. You know, uh, jumping to dualism still doesn't put it out of the realm of scientific inquiry. Even if there is some kind of soul-brain link somewhere, you can still identify sort of the connection on this end, you know, as if it's a couple of, it's a couple of uh, computers talking to each other over IP. You'd still want to know, like, you know, the brain still has some hardware. How fast is the connection and stuff like that? And why right. is it that when the brain breaks, uh, the soul appears to, I mean, you know, the personality appears to be broken too? Right. Or if there is some stuff that there are, certain people call supernatural, but it interacts with the material world, mm -hmm. in a sense, it can't be supernatural. It's then part of the material system. It's connected. In some way, yeah. In some, in, in some way. So, I it's mean... It's got it, a material component, this no is, matter what. Yeah, but, you know, claiming that there is a non-physical or irreducibly complex thing going on is pretty much just a means of shutting down discussion. Right. So they can erect a wall between what we know and what they don't want us to be able to claim to know about. Dancing, dancing in the garden. In the garden. Are you there? Are you there? Shine on